Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus uh, from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. These are by Stephen Farmer. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, we have, oh nice, Raccoon resourcefulness you have all the resources you need it's very magician energy that as well you know having all the resources the capabilities at your disposal using your resourcefulness this week okay angels what is the message for cancer please Message for Cancer. Thank you. So, Cancer, very nice energy. We have released. Let go and focus on what is positive and uplifting. Nice energy there, Cancer. So, let go of what is positive. What it, let go of and focus on what is positive and uplifting okay so i'm going to pull three cards the first card is the issue or challenge you face the second card is the advice from spirit and third card future outcome then we clarify go into the message as we always do and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so the first two cards this is the handsome roberts deck we have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The Tower is the advice from Spirit. And we have Justice. Okay, message for... Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Can we clarify the cards on the table? 15th to the 21st of March 2021, please. Let me clarify the cards on the table. Thank you. We have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer. The Empress. Interesting energy there between the two of those. And we have the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Swords. There is definitely an energy here, Cancer, of releasing. I mean, you know, this Eight of Swords with the Page of Cups, this is about allowing the good to come in and not blocking it, you know? Um, and that Page of Cups, I mean, yes, that can be, certainly with the Knight of Cups, can be in terms of new love, um, Allow yourself to look on the bright side even. This can be you, your feelings as well. So allowing yourself to look on the, the bright side, allowing yourself to embrace new possibilities. Um, but the Eight of Swords is a need to release from that which inhibits you, that which puts boundaries up, that which puts barriers up, um, negative thinking, blocks. So I'm definitely getting in this energy for some of you there is definitely an energy to let something in. Um, Knight of Cups is somebody who is offering joy. Now, the Knight of Cups can be love, romance, relationships here. Some kind of block here, Cancer. I mean... The, Yeah. 
it feels like you're there is some kind of offer here that with this with this page of cut the eight of swords there is some barrier to it i'm definitely getting this barrier energy because there is definite love here this is the beauty of life again allowing to look at the beauty of life open your heart um but definitely an energy of somebody is offering love now it can also be linked with creative opportunity as well the knight of cups it feels more to do with love romance relationships here but it can also be if you have been through whatever whatever issue is causing has caused this eight of swords because in the challenge position there is an opportunity to release from the negative thinking that has held you back so i'm definitely getting this energy that there is the potential of something new coming into your life this can be creative opportunity and new love and i'm saying both because the empress represents both she's very good in terms of money career she's very good in terms of love romance relationship areas she is the birth of something new and the birth of something new wants to come into your life. Change is this tower energy. It feels <laughs> the tower can be a card of, of change, the tearing down of the old, and the time is ripe to plant new seeds, to create new towers, to build you know, a new fortress. It feels that kind of energy, Kenza. You know, the Empress is all about everything is right. The conditions are perfect. The soil is perfect. The temperature is perfect. The weather is great. You know, the seeds are ready to be planted and bloom with wonderful results with the promise of reaping the harvest long term. But the Empress is all about the time is the time is everything is ready. The scene is set for real growth here in abundance and nurturing and the birth of something new um everything is ready and that's what she is a great abundant energy a feeling of fulfillment as well she is a great energy if you don't feel lack so there's definitely this energy here cancer of this tower i mean change may have happened to you this tower let's clarify this tower yeah ten of swords Deep hurts, deep wounds can be dark night of the soul energy. So the, t the Ten of Swords with the Tower is not easy energy. Ten of Swords is pain, upset, betrayal, wounds, hurt. I mean, there's levels to this card, but it's a dark period. You know, there's a lot of dark, dark, um, dark energy here. But, you know, this light at the top, you know, this fire, this light is, is liberate, is liberation from something that has caused you pain or hurt. It definitely feels in this energy here. With a 10 as well, this is a completion. Something is completing. The pain is over if you allow it to be now. Um, and it's the time is ripe to plant new seeds and that's what you're being told for some of you you could have been dealing with the law here i mean you know i've got justice i've got the king of swords i mean the, these are energies of the law um law legal systems government institutions uh so for some of you you know what this tower meant to you may have meant dealing with legal systems government institutions for you there is also an energy here of reaping what you sow you know and now the time is right to restore balance in your life and put your energy in the right this is what this card is all about you know let go and focus on what is positive and uplifting reaping what you sow putting your energy into something where you're going to reap rewards from again the promise of real rewards with the empress um and it, it's instilled with this ace of cups so emotional rebirth the beginnings of new happiness it's the cup of joy 
something that brings you joy, uplifting energy, fulfillment. You can see that cup is overflowing. So this is your heart energy overflowing once more, finding your happiness again. Could be, I mean, you know, justice can be a decision, a legal decision um, that you've been waiting for that is allowing you to open up to a new beginning here. So that could be for some of you. It can also be where you're just ready to restore the balance and put your energy in the right direction on what is going to bring you growth long term and restore the balance in your life and open up to new love. That could be, you know, the Knight of Cups, somebody offering you love. This can also be uh, bonds. You know, it can be bonds forming with friendships, pets even, um, self-love as well as the Ace of Cups. But I love the lotus flower. Spiritual awakenings and new beginnings is what the lotus flower represents. It just feels heralding a time of newness here. The new is ready to be planted and grow and the old is ready to be released. Remember the Knight of Cups holds this Ace of Cups. So somebody is bringing in joy here, happiness or offering happiness here. You know, this could also be you going in search of the beauty as well and allowing some emotional rebirth here, Cancer. But that King of Swords is a great liberating energy as well. He is somebody who understands how to liberate and embrace new world energy. It's Aquarian energy. So I definitely get this energy here of I am ready to release. I am ready to focus on a new vision uh, new objectives, new perspectives here, new plans forming um, that are ready to be put into action and just open to this new possibility. Now, there could also be, we've got Libra, Aquarius here, there could be an air sign, because I've also got Libra in energy here, we've got Venus in Taurus, so Taurus, Libra, um, and I've also got Pisces here. So there's definitely some signs here where you could be offered this Ace of Cups by one of those signs, or maybe somebody was those signs in their chart. But either way, I definitely get this, the cup of joy is being offered to you. And this is absolutely beautiful, uplifting, feel good energy. And there's a message that you have all the resources that you need. She is a resourcefulness energy. You lack for nothing to create a new reality for yourself, to bring this Ace of Cups about. So don't think it's not within your grasp. This is when something feels fu feels futile, when things feel beyond your control in some way. The message is, no, you have everything that you need to plant new seeds for the future. And it feels the beginnings of something wonderful is coming your way. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull a final card. Final card for Cancer, please. Angel, Spirits, Guide. Oh, you know, the, I felt the magic. You know, what did I say? I said magician energy, didn't I, at the beginning? We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Lovely energy, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.